It is December 24th. We're about to leave to the airport at 1. It is 12.15. <clears throat> Got the English Bulldog canvas done. Man, that was crazy. 24 hours. 26 hours just straight non-stop painting um, got it done presents gonna be complete I'll put the photo right here came out super nice super nice I love the way it came out um, so it's gonna be a busy day gotta catch up with packing up take OD out getting this gift sent out for another canvas customer um, this canvas is gonna be on pause until I get back uh, yeah, it's been a good day, man. So I got that digital uh, digital print done. Erica's friend in, uh, named Hunter out in Oklahoma. Came out super good, too. Once you get your package, this is how it comes in a box. Packaging on who it's for. Come from me. And then, obviously, you have your product. I just like the lighting in this room. I'm going to ship this out today. Oklahoma. I'm about to be up in ya. Sounds weird, but I'm about to be up in ya. Everybody, it is the weekend. Recently, I've been doing a lot of things as far as getting my website started, getting my brand started, sampling out some clothes, uh, getting some more paintings done. And now I'm to the point where once my website is established, I need to check the quality of the prints that I'm going to be selling. So here's my first set of samples of the prints. Um, I've already previously opened them, so you're not going to get the first reveal. Um, I wanted to double check and make sure everything was good because the boxes do look a little damaged. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and reopen this and show you guys what I got and what I think about the quality of my prints. Um, right now, this is like I said, this is the first time, so it's really just a trial and error. You know, if I don't like it, I can go ahead and send it back and try another one. Or if I don't like the way the photo is, I can send it back get another one. I thought I'd show you guys how it's gonna, how it looks. So here it is. Check it out. I already opened this, like I said. There you go. It's packaged on the side as well as wrapped in plastic and it's face down. I'm gonna do drop shipping too, so if you get a package, it's gonna be exactly like this. It's gonna be packaged with this plastic as well as the box and um, it's gonna ship directly to your house. That way, you know, if you don't wanna come pick it up. Um, personally, I would like to shake everybody's hand and thank them for purchasing a print of mine. But I mean, sometimes some people don't really want that, so it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and um, still be able to offer to ship it to you. Once you get it, you can go ahead and look at the front or whatever you need to do, but personally, I like to save it for last. I like to take the plastic off. Set it down, that way nothing scratches, the carpet doesn't scratch the uh, print. And I like to look at the quality of the print, you know, I, I like to make sure everything is perfect before I hang it on my wall. Um, especially with you, you know, if you order a print from me, 
and something isn't perfect, usually it's gonna go through me first. That's why I'm gonna ship it out because I wanna make sure the quality of each, each and every print is perfect. Um, so if you look on the back, they went ahead and blurred the edges the same color as the canvas. That way it kind of doesn't just separate itself and be with the black strip. Uh, black strip isn't bad, but I thought I'd tune the sides in a little bit more and give a blur. That way you can at least still see the painting and see what the colors are. Um, also, they put a, a back on this. That way no air, no dust or anything gets in the back of the canvas. Um, also, they put the tacks on the tacks on it. That way you can hang it on the wall for easy installation. I don't know if you can see right here. But you can lift this lever, hang something on the wall, and it grabs onto those teeth right there. That way it makes it easy for you to install it at home. Like I said, it's about an inch thick, so it's a good thickness. That way whenever you're hanging it on the wall, it's not too thin, it doesn't like, you know, look too weird. I thought this would look like a little you know, premium look of a print. Um, and then each corner is tucked really nicely, I don't know if you can tell. but. They're all tucked. Some of them might be a little bit loose, but I think this one's okay, it's gonna pass. And then reveal time. This is the copy of the original. So this isn't the original, but man, it looks pretty close, would you say? Let's see if you can see it. Oh, you can, but it's a little dark for some reason. It's probably because it's in my apartment and I don't really have a lot of good sunlight. But it looks really good. It's hard to compare, man. I wish I could take it outside. You know what, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take it outside. All right, so I went ahead and brought out both canvases with me. I thought this would give you better natural lighting, especially with the sunlight. You can really capture all the blues, reds, greens, and um, all the little colors that I put in there. I think this still looks good. You come out expecting you know, the original painting. There's no way it's gonna match the original painting. I mean, this is probably as close as it's gonna get, and it's pretty, it's pretty close, look. I mean, this is the print, this isn't even the original. I think it come out pretty good. And like I said, it's an inch thick, so it gives you that premium look whenever it's on the wall. And then, um, to mount it, like I said, it's easy because it has these little brackets that come with it, the teeth. That way it's easy to mount on the wall. And just the quality came up pretty good. I might edit it, edit the photo the next time I upload it a little bit more and make it brighter. That way it catches that blue a little bit better. Also, I got a second one. This one came out good, but since it made it bigger than the original, I think it made it a little bit fizzy. On the camera, it's kind of hard to capture it. But when you're in person, it's not it's just not as clear as the original painting. Still looks good though. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's a 20 by 30. And this one is a 24 by 36. So it's the same width, just different height. Inch thick, enclosed back. Mounted with the uh, easy mount bracket. Sadly with this one though, since the box was messed up, this one unfortunately did come with some defects on it. You can tell it wasn't the packaging, but it was just whoever was handling this piece um, just wasn't handling it with care. So a bent right here, that bent the whole back right here. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully they'll message me back and they can get this squared away and we can get another one. But um, I'm pretty satisfied with this quality and I think it's, I think it's pretty good. All right. So overall, with that print quality, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, there is some minor things that I could do to make it a little bit better, but I think that's on my end. I think that's as far as what file I'm sending them. Um, but as far as matching the quality of paint that I'm putting out on the canvas, I think they can keep up. Um, I might need to scale my canvases a little bit different instead of like trying to make them bigger. It needs to be the same scale, exactly what it is. That way it doesn't pixelate the painting a little bit. Um, I would show you next to the cam. I would put side by side. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you the original from the print. I didn't want to show you this because I don't want you to get a print or somebody to get a print and say, "Hey, this doesn't look like the original," and be upset. But there's no way you can get the 
the original quality. Like, there's no way. If you want to spend the money and come and get the original, by all means, come get it. But I just didn't want. If you look at just the print, it doesn't look bad. But once you compare it to the original, that's where it looks a little bit like. Yeah, it does look a little bit different. But let's see. Let's see what you think. This is the print. And this is the original. See how much vivid the colors are? The different types of blue that you see in this. This isn't, this print isn't bad. It's just there's no way to completely duplicate the original painting, you know, like. But it still looks good. Like I said, if I was to do anything different, only thing I would do differently is put up the brightness on this one. Just a tad bit, tad bit. Other than that, I mean, it caught a lot of the detail really good. Really good, actually. But I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. But there goes the, um, there goes the video as far as, uh, samples and seeing what I'm coming up with. Um, I think good things are happening right now. Prints are sampling. Print samples are coming in and out right now. Hopefully, gonna get them, you know, figured out here soon and we'll get some good quality coming out to you guys and make it available and easy to purchase for you. Um, what else? Apparel is still sampling right now. I'm still trying to find some really good material that I can... I could just want to put out for, and put my name on it, you know. I don't want you to buy a shirt and wash it twice and then it can be completely ruined, you know. Um, I have designs already in the bag. It's just a matter of finding the quality and the printer that I can use to put this on a shirt, you know. My colors are very vivid, so it's all, it's not that they suck or anything. It's just, I mean, the, the power of the printers, I mean, it's doing the best that it can. It's just to duplicate, to duplicate the, the exact, you know, fresh painting, it's pretty hard. But, um, you know, things are going well. Started the job this week, so it's, you know, it's a process as well. Things are going good, but that job, guys, like, you know, any of you guys that have some dreams or passions that you want to pursue and you think that having a job is in the way or something like that, I mean, if it's completely in the way, go ahead, drop the job. But you know what? You need a job. You need a job to fund your dreams, you know? Like, you need something to get you by until you can make it with your dreams. But some people really get discouraged and like, oh, well, without, if I didn't have my job, I could be living my dream. That's not the case, man. I thought about that. But you know what? Until I left my job, I just saved up some money, took a three-month break. I, want, I wanted to be like, yo, it's either this way or nothing. Like, you got to give this all, give this your all right now. And so I left my job and um, for the past three months, I've been giving this my all. You guys have been watching clips of me painting. Um, but that stuff doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, you know. Same thing with the websites, the sampling with the t-shirts, these canvas prints, uh, making sure they go back and making sure that we get the adjustment right. That way I know what to put out, you know. And um, it's a process, you guys. But you know what? Like I said, you, you need a job. You need something to get you through. You need to be living a life as well as chasing your dream, not just living a life and working nine to five and that's it, you know. Like, no, when you get off at five, Try to chase something that you're passionate about. Do something that you enjoy, and before you know it, it'll be it'll make you money, you know. And hopefully, it'll get to the point where you don't need a job. You're doing this full time, whether that be to do makeup, cut hair, paint, make music, make beats, make music videos, or even any type of YouTube videos. People get it twisted. They think that YouTube makes you money. No, it's the type of content that you're putting out and where you're putting it out to, and the kind of platform that you're building for yourself that makes you successful, not YouTube. YouTube doesn't do anything for you just besides give you a platform. So, I'm getting all this started guys. You know, it's, it, takes a pro it takes a while, but you know what? I'm putting it all on camera right now because I'm documenting this. I took a break because I didn't want to document it. I'm like, okay, I don't want to show anybody the struggle, but you know what? This is, this is real life, man. Like, you know, this is, this is real life. The struggle right now of trying to get all this situated and get it going. I mean, this stuff isn't gonna go overnight. And you know, I'm glad I'm putting in the time now and figuring this out right now. Because eventually it's going to get to the point where, you know what? I could be sitting in my living room drawing a really nice, awesome design, post it on my website and give it available, make it available to either put on shirts or print on canvases. And that's my job. That could be my job. If I could do that, that'd be great, man. That'd be awesome. If I could just paint, draw, design, and just make good connections with a lot of people I'm coming in contact with. I just want to help people pursue their passion, you know? I don't want people to give up because they're working a 9 to 5. No, keep, stri keep striving, keep striving. But um, that's enough for my little rant. I'm not here to 
preach to you guys, you know, I just wanted to show you guys what I got going on and let you know that I haven't gone anywhere. I'm just taking a little bit of time right now. It's moving slowly, but we're moving, you know, and uh, keep up with the, uh, with the prints that I'm doing and the paintings that I'm doing, the most latest ones. Don't miss out. Um, each print is only going to be available. It's probably going to be like 10 available, um, but it'll be nice. It'll be nice. I want to thank you guys again for your support. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you guys, and I hope you continue to watch me grow. Peace. Sending my first print. little message signature right there one of ten yo Brandon I appreciate you man I really appreciate you for purchasing my first copy of my canvases um, I'm, at, I'm about to meet with you right now, but I just want to throw, give you a shout out, man. This isn't your first time getting something from me, so thank you for your support, man, and any of you other people that are purchasing anything from me. I really appreciate you guys. The fact that you guys are purchasing my stuff and, you know, I'm getting good feedback and hearing that y'all like it, keeps pushing me, you guys. Keeps pushing me. I feel like I have a testimony in my life. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to keep pushing and doing what I feel like I need to do. And uh, right now it's this. So thank you guys, hope you guys stay tuned.